<clears throat> Hopefully I'll get you guys back. <laughs> this is try number two. I'll only try it three times. If not, I'll break down and I'll start a, a regular video. So let's wait for you guys to come back in. Let's try this again. <clears throat> okay, I'm sharing this out again. The little darlings will come back. Okay, it's Lori in here. Okay. Um, I'm going to share it out again. Okay. Now, let's see. Come back to my group and post. Because if I can get this going, I'll be a happy camper. Let's see. Okay, now I go back to the Divas and post again. I just was in there. Why does it do that? I need to put them in a chronological order here because I can't find them the other way. All right. I got them posted in two. Yes, I have a fan on. I can't turn it off without turning the light off. The chain is broken. The chain is broken on my fan. And so um, I can't do anything about the fan. I'm, I'm using my purple table that I usually use for bigger projects in the middle of my table. Normally, I'm over at my other. I'm sitting here talking to you like y'all can see me. I, I'm usually at my other desk. I'm not used to having the camera down. But anyway, where did I get to before I got cut off the last time? What do y'all? What did the last thing y'all seen? Because I think I talked to a dead screen for about a minute and a half. Okay. I don't know what you all seen and what you didn't see. Yeah, it's my fan. <laughs> it's pretty though. Y'all can see that it that it works. But I'm, I'm gonna try and push it out of the way where y'all don't have a lot of the a lot of the flickering in your eyes. All right. Now I don't know what you all seen, but I was in the process of showing you what pro, what tools you would need for this. But I'm gonna go over this real quick. What you're going to need is some used or cut up CDs, aka cut up CDs. You're going to need some alcohol. Ugh, some alcohol. You're going to need a paper towel. You're going to need a pencil. You're going to need, this is what I'm going to be using. You can use something different, but I prefer this because it's the full thing. This is a document frame this is a document frame because as you know all most of document frames do not have a big border to play with and i'm putting this on here because there's a big glare see big glare y'all see my fan in the thing y'all see my fan 
and I'm putting this on here so the glare. But as a as you all know, it takes up basically the whole picture frame. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be drawing on this white paper. We're going to be drawing a design on this paper. Later, Gator Mama. But anyway, we're going to be drawing a design on this white paper. And we're going to be using the CD tiles, sort of like a mosaic. And we're going to fill in on the paper. Well, we're going to put this underneath this glass to fill in. And so what will happen is pretend that there is a design on this on this sheet. We're going to put it up and under our glass here. We're going to put it underneath the glass. And we're going to be using the tiles. And we're going to be gluing those on. I hate that light. light. And there's no way I can mute that light, guys. There's no way. Um, and we're going to be gluing these tiles onto the onto the frame here or onto the glass and say this is a design, you know, say it's a flower, you know, and that's what we're going to be playing with today. I have all kinds of different colors on here. I mean, just say that that's your frame and what you need to do is keep. A little bit of an edge away from the edge of your your glass because you've got to pop this back into the frame now the thing is is what you're gonna have left is a a um, a glass and what you're gonna need is a real pretty paper to stick on the back side of your of your frame Something that's going to make that pop. Make your frame pop. Make your design pop. See what I'm talking about? That's what we're going to be playing with today. And that's the first of the CD projects that we're going to be playing with. So... We're going to move this out of the way. We're going to move this out of the way so we don't need it right this second. Put that in a safe place. Good thing I got a few more of those frames. And so that is the project that we are going to be playing with. Now, I need suggestions. I mean, we've got kind of a, a larger, uh, a large piece, pieces here. What design should we draw? to um, make our design. I'm asking you, what kind of, what design, something simple, something simple that I can draw that we can use these pieces that we've cut up with for. What design do you think would work well with these pieces? Kind of something with a kind of a larger space. What do you think? Give me, a su give me suggestions and I will try. <clears throat> uh, what I was donating the first time I was here you were donating what and you got any, anybody got any suggestions because if not I'll I'll go in here and And I'll play just the um, the glass. Oh, yeah. And you're also going to need for this, you're going to need some real strong glue. And a glue gun. I use sheer bonder uh, glue. Because when you're, when you're working with something like this, you're going to need a glue that's going to hold. You don't want something that's going to pop off. Now, Surebonder has 
not giving me any troubles. So I rely on this sheer bonder for a tight for a tight to uh, grip on on stuff. Anybody got any suggestions? Because I'm gonna start drawing here in a minute if not. Do a flower. Okay, we'll see. Um see now in this i have several different colors i've got the purple i've got the blue which are really pretty um got the mirror i mean so i've got uh, i've got like three different colors in here i can play with Ooh, hot air balloons or a fleur fleur delay mm, or fleur oh fleur the oh the southern way of saying it fleur um, hot air balloons. Ooh, ooh, I think I might have to do that because the hot air balloons sound like really cool and we can play with all kinds of colors. So, uh, crafty, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to take rivers, um, uh, uh, suggestion because that is a really cool way to play with that. And that's a really good. Yeah. Lizzie likes hot air balloons. So yeah, let's do that. And so let's draw. All right, not the most perfect drawer, but I will try. I might have to just, uh, let's see, uh, let's do the basket. I mean, if I mess this up, I got a whole drawer full of white paper. Hey, little C. Little C's in the house. <clears throat> I want to remind you guys that we are going to be having an auction on the 3rd of May. Hell or high water. All right. We will be doing it. I'm hoping that we can get it here on YouTube. And if not, we're going to be doing it on my, uh, on the Creative Jewels by Emily. Um, um group make it bigger well i was going to do several different ones laura i was going to do uh, a big one and a couple little ones is that okay because i got plenty i can cut up more i can cut up more pieces and we'll, what we'll do is we'll draw in that basket on the thing i think i've got some black markers over there a black carbon marker it's not on these red. Let's see. Let's see. Let's make the full circle. See if it. I mean, it's not going to be perfect. This is just an outline. We're going to use. We're going to put the glass over top of this, and we will start gluing stuff down. But uh. Like I said, I've got plenty of paper, and if this don't work out, I can redraw it. I mean, it's not going to be perfect. And I'm hoping I left a lot of the circles on there, because that will actually do a lot, do me very well for the for the circly part of the balloon. So that's a good idea. I'm hoping I didn't get too many off. So. Rough sketch, guys. Rough sketch. Not this is not perfect. I, if, if I wanted to make this perfect, this I would be sitting here perfecting this circle. But no, this is just a. Um, these are just little imperfections that make everything perfect. What is underneath my? What is underneath my paper? Oh, uh, my paper. A scrap of paper I was working on. Okay. Let's make this circle. Okay. 
That almost looks like an alien. <laughs> These are some wonky looking balloon baskets, don't it? All right, now, well, what we'll do is we'll we'll fill in the little blank spots with other things. So now that we've got our very very rough balloons, we can actually start putting on the um, putting on the design. Now, the reason why I said you needed some alcohol is you need to clean the glass. That way the glue can stick to the surface. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean this surface real quick. Okay. I need to put those in a little monkey bowl or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jar or something, um, and when you know it, I have all this stuff in my room, but yet I don't have anything like that to put them in. So, give me just a second, guys. I'm gonna get a little bowl from my kitchen. <clears throat> Real careful. I've got some tight spaces. All right. When you know it, nice Corel bowl. Corel bowl. I love Corel bowls. I remember using Corel bowls when I was a kid, and I got handed down some Corel dishes from my grandmother. Then she handed it down to my mom, and then she handed them down to me. And then when I moved into my first apartment. A box got set down too roughly, and wouldn't you know it, my Corel dishes were in that box, and they got ruined. Only had a few left. Yeah, that's a small piece. All right, so we've got our pieces in the bowl. Do the dust, dust. But like I said, the um. Glass needs to be cleaned. And if this works out the way I want it to, it will be in auction. I'm going to use the alcohol to clean up the surface of this. That way the glue will stick to it and we don't have any problems. Goodness gracious. All right. Now, we've got that all cleaned up. Normally, I'd be using my glass mat for that. My other glass mat would have produced a very, very large, even larger glare. So I took my glass mat off and I just taped down some white paper. So that's what you're all wondering. Now, let's get, let's start placing these. Let's start placing these pretties. All right. Now we've got all kinds of colors here. So let's start off around it with around the edges. We got all kinds of colors. I need the rounder edges, Miss Emily. All right, I forgot to cut the center part of that. I'll use that another time. This is going to look pretty. Plus, this gives you guys an idea of some playtime with your kiddos. Miss Carrie. Say if they get bored in the house and they're sick or something and they need something constructive to do. 
pull out some old CDs, cut them up, and have them go at it. Create the fun. Create some fun. Now, I'm going to leave a little bit of a space in between these pieces because you want some of the color to kind of shine through on your background paper and give it a little bit of a contrast. Let's see. Everybody still with me? Y'all playing along with me? Laura, I know you got grandbabies. I know this would be fun for them to play with. Well, get some cut, woman. This is a really fun project. A really fun project for the kiddos to play with. Let's um, run wild with their imaginations. It's sort of like a mosaic type of thing yo uh to play play time with mosaics i mean your original design does not have to be perfect it's just a template yeah we'll do this when they get out of school they are out in a few weeks yeah i try and make sure that a lot of my projects are kid friendly now some are not as kid friendly as some but I try and make it to where if you have an autistic child this would be an awesome way for them to explore their their inner imagination and their their artist inner artist as I, as I was saying an inner artist see these little purple ones are not gonna fit properly but let's see if I can find some of my smaller pieces this is a really great hands-on uh, project and gets gets you per, gets you and your child participating together and creating together and and just spending time together and I'm all about family time and um, being creative um, boil your CDs Laura for about five to ten minutes um, and then take them off the eye and leave them in the warm water. And when you get ready to cut them, uh, they should be really easy to cut. But get a strong pair of scissors. I would suggest that because I ended up with blisters. I had four of them. One here, one here, one here, and one here. These two blisters didn't, didn't form real bad, as you can see right here. There was barely one there, but barely there. But this one... If I can get the lot, this one formed real bad. And I haven't been able to really do anything bend until that healed up a little bit. And it took a week to do that. So I was planning on doing this last week. But, well, you know, you can't really do anything with busted up hands. <laughs> All right. All right. Do I have any smaller pieces in there? I might. I just might just pour them out in here. I think I've got some small pieces in here. Yeah, got a few, but not many. Got all kinds of colors and shapes and sizes in here. We can actually probably make another one unplanned over here. Is that backwards? Yeah. Now you can also use a different way of doing this. How are you? How are the babies doing? They are doing real good. 
they are growing like weeds. I haven't got to see them, but I have talked to them on Facebook Messenger every weekend for about 30 minutes. And so I do get to see them. May not be physically see them, but I do get to see them. They are getting so big, guys. My little, my little girl, I swear, she is a budding artist. I want to send her some more stuff, but I don't know what she can use because the pencils and the the nice graphic pencils that I sent her, um, her dad has to teach her how to use them. And so she hasn't been able to use them, but she absolutely loves her sketchbook that I sent her. She absolutely loves it. Oh, the kitty babies. Oh, uh, they are doing good. They're growing like weeds. We may have some eyes opening very soon. And I can't wait because I want to see what color their eyes are. James Lee, I got to tell you the, a little secret. He was so my kitten that I'm going to keep. He was just all over that little kitten last night. He would not let him. He would not let me hold him. Would not let me hold my kitty. He had him wrapped up in his robe. I I have a robe that all the babies have been. Uh, but all the kitties, all the kitties and puppies, and every baby that I've had in this house has been wrapped up in to get my scent. And he had him wrapped up in his robe last night. I think he's becoming attached to my little one. And I'm going to be naming him Socks. If it's a him or her, name's going to be Socks either way. Because it looks like he's got little socks on. It's so cute. They are getting so big, guys. I think that's what's made. That's what's gotten me through this last little bit. I think it was a, a blessing because I've just been in kind of a depressed depressed stage here lately and so not a lot of crafting has been done in this house just gotta get in gear because i got i got an auction to do guys and i gotta have product for you guys that was funny i'm here thinking of the kitten of the kittens and you were talking about children and then i look just before carrie's specified it was a kitten <laughs> yeah I thought she was talking about my babies too I sorry miscommunication communication malfunction <laughs> Let's see. Turn around. There we go. Well, let's try and find us another triangle piece right there. Oh, no. No, that's not going to work. It's not going to work. That might work. I mean, this is a really neat project. Let's see if I can make a makeshift balloon over here. Like I said, it's not going to be perfect, guys. I'm not the most perfect one to do this. Now, you can make it any type of shape that you want to. I mean, I'm not telling you to make it balloon. You can make it flowers. You can make it hearts really neat project to do for Valentine's Day too if you want to give something really neat kids would love this little project and we're going to be doing some ser several different projects with these pieces here it's just today's project is a mosaic frame Let's see. I need a small triangular piece. Did I not cut any triangular, hardly any triangular pieces? Maybe I didn't want the. The harsh edges. I don't know. Let's 
Oh, I just had it and it disappeared. Y'all, did y'all see that? Ugh. I had a small piece and it just went bye bye in the midst of in the midst of. A square piece. I need a square piece. Okay, I need to leave a little bit of a space at the bottom. Hmm. Nothing is ever permanent unless you glue it down, and then it's going to be hard to get it up. <clears throat> Let's see. That have, might have to be a short basket. <laughs> uh, that might just have to be a short basket. And a smaller piece. That might, but that might just work. That might just work. Perfect. Plate it. All right. That's awesome. All right. Let's get these glued down first. Let's see. Let's change the basket on that one because I'm kind of gearing. Or a blue one. Let's see if I can find a small rectangular one to do. Did we or didn't we? If that is the question, it's like treasure hunting in my own box. Now we need a small one. Very, very small one. May have to get the scissors out. Maybe and cut me one. It might crack. It might crack. Not small enough. Let me see if I can cut it. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Because it's only going to be a small snip. A very small snip. Oh, it worked. There we go. Hey! We got the basket. All right, now let's move this stuff out of the way. Let's see what it looks like. All right, so that's what we have so far. I mean, it's not perfect, but we've got balloons. All right, now I've got a sure bonder glue here and now we're going to yeah that kind of went offset a little bit now we're going to start gluing these pretties down and careful not to burn yourself glue is hot ladies glue is hot i would know I just thought it was funny when I first thought you were asking about the kids and then Emily was talking about the kids. Then I thought, oh, she's asking about the kids. Oh. <laughs> don't need much sure bond or glue. This stuff is strong. Remember to leave just a little bit of a gap in between your your pieces here because you want the you want to you want to see the inside background. Oh no. No 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 no. I just flung out of my hands and took half the glue with it. Okay. 
Maybe that'll stay. Nope. And the glue. See, it stuck to my hand and the silvery part came up with it. There we go. Take a razor blade and pop it up if you mess up. Now we got to find a replacement piece for that spot. Go figure. All right, let's see what this does. That may have been a better choice. Hmm. Fate. It was fate. All right, so we have almost one balloon done. Almost one. I can't show you. I can't flip it up until it's completely done. Oh, no, that's going to come up off of it. Yeah. This funny feeling it's gonna. Yep, it's gonna. Well, we'll save that. We'll find us another piece. Yeah. That works better. I like the blue in there anyhow. But yeah, it's going to look pretty. It's the first time I've ever done this, so guys, this is an experiment. And if I like it, I'm going to keep doing it. <laughs> All right, now. Yeah. One may look a little funky, but y'all get the concept of it. You don't even have to make the shape of a hot air balloon. You can make a shape of a flower and then make it look like a hot air balloon. Doesn't have to be what you see I've got. I mean, this is just an idea for you guys to play with and get your kids involved or your, your grandkids or your nieces or nephews or whatever you have. Okay, I need to hurry because your bonder glue does not give me much time to play. And if you've got pieces that have sharp edges and you've got children, please beware. You will cut them if you're not if they're not careful. So if you are a child and watching this or watching the replay, please be a smart and ask an adult to help you with the cutting of these. And don't run with scissors. They, you can hurt yourself, by the way. <laughs> yeah, you can put a color page underneath that. I mean, this is just, I didn't have any, anything on hand that I could use for such big pieces.
and the print that we did underneath it, we are not keeping that. That's going to go in the garage. We may have to put like a small piece there. But do I hear my mail lady? And she's not stopping. She went right by the house. Might have to redirect the pieces on this one, but. Well, they can be. They can be very sharp when you cut them. Laura, they can be very sharp actually. So please beware if you have young ones to say them in it like this piece right here. You see how sharp those edges are? All right, camera. You see how sharp that is? Come on, camera. See that? That can be very dangerous if they're not paying attention. Come on, focus. I got to get used to my camera, guys, as I'm not sure where anything is there at this second. Okay. Now you can, if you want to, you can layer up these pieces, sort of make it a 3D picture. But I'm not going to do that right now because I want this to, I want this to be just a one layer picture. But you can, you can stack them up say like this you can snap you can stack them up and make them even more uh holographic I'll get the shiny ones that way you all can see i mean you can stack them up sort of like i do my 3d art I mean, you can stack them up and make them all kinds of different dimensions okay we are almost done with this Glue stick in. And this doesn't take a lot of glue. Just make sure you have a nice strong adhesive whenever you do this. I mean, you can use ta a strong tacky glue or a fast tack, but you've got to let it dry. Uh oh, that glue on that is peeling up. So let's take that off because we don't want that on there. And then we're going to put that there. <clears throat> now, as I said last week, start saving your CDs and your old DVDs because I've got a few more projects planned with some old CDs and DVDs. So please don't throw them away just yet. Uh oh. Okay, that kind of uh, wigged me out a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to take some alcohol and I'll clean up these pieces from where my fingerprints got on them now. I'm going to need the shape on this one because. Based it off of this sheep. All right, now.
Let's glue. Now you don't necessarily have to do it on glass either. You can do it on um, a piece of paper. But I kind of sort of like the, the way this is turning out. And you can put different color things in the background of this of this frame. I may have stuck that in wrong and I can actually add another piece in there. Ooh. You know, whenever you put something out, 99.999%, it never goes back in the way that you set it in. Have you ever got a box that was cram packed full of stuff? And when you went to try and put the stuff back in the box, it never went in the same way it came out. Yeah, Miss Lynn, uh, Lynn Mason, uh, Country Girl Scrapping, uh, she sent it to me. And it is a wonderful camera. Wonderful, wonderful camera. I mean, I had one, but it was kind of not so good. <laughs> it was very not so good, I can tell you that right now. A beautiful gift. Yes, it was very nice of her. I mean, I was I was worried. I mean, I generally stream from my phone. And the only thing that I was really worried about was the Wi-Fi because I stream from my mobile. I streamed from my mobile. And I was worried about that. And I use Wi-Fi. But since they changed the rules, I couldn't stream from my phone. Now, I can actually stream using my Wi-Fi from my phone. And uh, all I got to do is just connect it. Oh, I can add another piece in there. Which one do I want? Do I want the blue? Do I want a blue in there? Hmm. Let's find us a, a real pretty blue little fit. Will it fit? Yes. That will fit. All right, so do we got all the pieces down? We do, we do, we do. So, where's my paper towel at? And all these goobery glue strings. better see it off like that. I'm so used to turning it. So now we have this. Sorry for the glare. I'm making your phone a hot spot. What it's called, well, at least you can stream. I know that you were upset once YouTube made that rule. I can't stream either from my phone. I can use 
I can't use my laptop, but I haven't tried it since they created the rule. It's actually easy. Lynn actually coaxed, uh, uh, Lynn and uh, Marina, they coaxed me through it. They coached me through it, and I'm uh, able to use it now. I mean, it's it's actually pretty easy once you get used to it. All right. So, that is the finished product so far. And what we need to do is get our lines drawn in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and see if I can find a black Sharpie. Watch me not be able to find one. Now that I need one. All right, I've got a thin barrel one. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw in those lines. I'm going to actually flip that over because we want the lines from the inside. And if we don't like it, we can use some alcohol or a finger to polish remover and we can remove that. I have streamed from my laptop a few months ago back in the night back in the nineties at my parents' house. I used a webcam. That was years ago. Oh wow. All right, now oh. we have it. We have our balloons. I mean it's not the most perfect thing, but you know, not all pieces were created equally. Now Let's see. Like I said, this is a document frame. As you can tell, document frame. Sample plain green. Is that the same size as mine? It is, but it's black. I wonder. I wonder, wonder. Oh, I think I'll keep it like that. Because that's actually pretty neat. So, this, sorry, hi guys, y'all can see me, um, I've got my computer over here, that way I can see you, but that is the finished product, look at that, isn't that neat? I hate that glare guys, sorry, that's my, that's my fan. <laughs> So, as you can tell, you can see all kinds of fingerprints while we were playing with it. Let me see if I can get it clean. Where is it? All right, alcohol, where did you go? Oh, there you are, right behind me. I mean, this project will take less than an hour if you've got an hour to play with at home. You can even choose to color the background and then place your, your mosaic pieces on it. You can do all kinds of things. I know I didn't get all the fingerprints off of it. I can still see some. They're probably on the opposite side of the, the glass. And I'll pop that out and I'll clean it before I put it in my box. I'll wrap it up that way there's no other things that'll get to it. But you can add anything that you want to with this. You can add a piece of blue uh, paper and behind it to make it a sky. Some look looks like mother of pearl if you mm -hmm. make angle just right. Yeah. I mean you can make all kinds of things. I really like the way this turned out. 
I mean, I've got a few more frames that I can play with. Um, but I figure I'd get on here and I'd show you this real quick thing that you could do with your children or nieces, nephews. Um, if you've got autistic adults or uh, children, this is a really great project for them to get involved. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm very hands-on. I love to be able to create and give everybody a chance to create something with the things that they have laying around their house. Remember, all you need is a frame. You don't necessarily have to have the document frames, but I thought this would be really cool because it has hardly any borders or anything on it. Um, you need glue, hot glue. That's not necessarily structure bonder, but I would say I recommend it because it's got a strong tack on it. You need some cut up CDs of different colors. I mean, there's different, there's different colors. There's even ones with blue. I've got some that have orange. I mean, there's all kinds of different colors that you can use. You need just a scrap piece of paper to draw an image, or you can use an old coloring sheet that you have. Um, as a as a uh, um, oh as a what's it called come on guys help me out here uh, um, as a template excuse me <laughs> who had to get it out uh, we can you you can use that as a template um, let's say and your imagination that's all you really need for this um, you can even use a piece of vellum or a piece of saran wrap on top of a frame or something like that. Anything that will that will uh, will hold up to hot temperatures. Just be careful. Um, yeah. So this would even be great at Christmas time to make some snowflakes. Um, a winter scene. Anything. I mean, this your the sky's the limit, and your imagination is your only uh, is your only weakness. So there we go. We've got balloons in the sky. Y'all can see the webcam is kind of angled up over my table. <laughs> I kind of got to get the angle right. But yeah, there you go, guys. Really quick and easy. Um, our project for you and your kiddos so guys i'm gonna go ahead and get the hay out of here because i've got some other projects that i need to do off camera um so i'm gonna leave you with a little bit of food for thought and i have a page that i read from i got a bunch of them so y'all will hear it a little bit now um let's see what is today the 24th wow the last time i did this was on the 4th um, food for thought, guys. Listen, pay attention, take it to heart, think about it. Tell me what you think. Having a soft heart in a cruel world is courage, not weakness. All right, guys, think about it. Tell me what you think. I love you all. Thank you for coming in. Hopefully I inspired at least one of you all to get out there and craft and create some art and share your artwork. Also, if you are not a part of our Creative Jewels by Emily group on Facebook, please head over and fill out, uh, sign up to be a friend of ours and we'll get you in there. So ladies and gentlemen, I love you all. God bless you all. And thank you for coming in and watching me. Hopefully if you, if you like this stream and if you enjoyed, please hit those thumbs up. And hit that subscribe button that's like mm, somewhere down here. Somewhere. So hit that subscribe button and leave me a kind comment. No negative, please. Um, and give me some uh, really cute ideas on what else we could do with these CDs. So ladies and gentlemen, I love you all. Thank you all. And God bless you all. And I will see you guys on our next stream. Bye.